is Ralph Irvin in the press room of the Morgan Center and UCLA campus, where they just announced Corey Close is the new head women's basketball coach here at UCLA, and she joins us now here at UCLABruins.com. First off, Coach, congratulations on uh, your first head coaching position right here at UCLA. Well, I scored, didn't I? Um, this is such a great um, thing to be a part of, and I'm so thankful for the trust that they've given me in leading this program, and, and uh, it's, it's just a tremendous day and a tremendous honor to continue this construction journey of building it to the national championship level. For the last seven years, you were at Florida State, and certainly a lot of competition going on in the ACC. So it prepares you for what is a always tough Pac-10 conference. Absolutely, but I'm learning, you know, Pac-12, we've got to start practicing that now. Um, but absolutely, the ACC is a tremendous conference. It gave me great experience. It was a big part of the preparation um, to have me ready for this point. And so I'm excited to bring any experience I can. And I think it's not just about UCLA basketball. It's about raising the whole level of the Pac-12 and, and helping each other become nationally um, viable to be the best conference in the country. So I'm excited to be a small piece of that puzzle. One thing UCLA women's teams of the past couple years have been known for is their defense and, and aggressive defense and rebounding. You come in with a lot of offensive background to really pair up with what's already been a strong foundation. Well, you know, I'm glad to bring some offense um, to the table just in my background, but I believe that defense and rebounding does win championships, and, and Nikki did a great job of laying a key foundation in that area, and I've admired it from afar. So, um, you know, you, you don't want to fix something that's not broken. Even though that's a strength of mine is offense, I believe in defense, and I think it starts there. But I am excited to try to bring some offensive creativity and, and to see what um, the development that I bring to the program, um, how it can help. And beyond the games on the court, of course, the secondary game is recruiting. People are always interested in that, and that's something you've been heavily involved in both at Florida State and before that at UC Santa Barbara. Well, recruiting is the lifeline of any uh, college, you know, basketball program. And, you know, Nikki and her staff signed an amazing class, and, and I'm really excited to get to know them. I think they bring something very special. Um, I think they have an amazing opportunity to uh, step in and, and be a part of something that's really going in an amazing direction. So I'm excited to re-recruit them, um, you know, to, uh, to have a chance to build those same relationships relationships, but also just moving forward in the, you know, 2012, 2013, and so on, classes. There's so much talent in Southern California, uh, in California in general. It'll be a great commitment to me to build relationships with the high school and AAU coaches and to keep those uh, great players home. And then on top of that, uh, you talk about relationships. Now it's time to build new relationships as you go and uh, build a staff. Well, a staff is going to be key. You know, I, I, not only did I get to this point to be prepared on my own, I had, you know, wonderful mentors. You know, I think about Kathy Olivier, Mark French, and Sue Samrao, how they have just so impacted my life. And um, it's going to be so key that I know that I can't do this on my own. Um, I need great quality people um, to help me and to also invest in the lives of these student athletes. That's the most important thing. Thing, is that we're a unified staff, all saying the same words and committed to the same vision. We're here to serve. You know, we're not here to, uh, it's not about us as the staff members. It's about serving the experience of these student athletes and uh, the staff will have to um, be really unified in that approach. The first announcement of you as head coach was to the team. How uh, did that meeting go? The team is wonderful. I, you know, I, they they were receptive. They um, asked good questions. They were enthusiastic. Um, you know, I'm really excited. And you know, they they really uh, enjoyed the last staff, and I re can respect that. And and uh, and I'm excited to earn their respect and trust, and to move forward with them. And they're a great group of young women, and they have done amazing things. We started out the meeting just say, "You're amazing." You know, I listed off a lot of the first that they had and what they've accomplished and that tells me about their courage about their teamwork about their willingness to dream um, about their togetherness and uh, you know I, that's a wonderful thing to build on um, it's one thing to have great accomplishments it's a whole nother thing to know where that comes from and you talk about bonding with the team. That'll you'll have a chance to really do that this summer, as you're able to take a trip in August. Well, I'm so thankful to the administration and to the incredible generosity of donors that have allowed us to have that experience and preserve it. You know, I think it's going to be really important from a chemistry standpoint um, to be able to share in those incredible experiences. I, I it's. Um, education in 3D. It's a part of the educational process, but from a basketball standpoint, it's going to be so important for us to be able to um, form our own new identity, to, to be able to tweak some things, to be able to make sure that we're on the same page as a new staff together. So there's so many benefits. I, I just think you couldn't design it any better. And how big is this for you personally to be coming back to California, your native state, your graduate of UC Santa Barbara from Northern California, just coming back home? 
Well, it's just a privilege, you know, just to get to share it. This is such a, a unique profession. It's not just a profession, it's a lifestyle. And when you get to share it with the people that have really been a part of raising you, that's just a very special thing. I don't think you can put a price tag on it. It's, in fact, very hard to describe. I, I'm really thankful. The staff at Florida State and the players and the experience was unmatched. It was exactly what I needed at the right time. And, uh, I, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'll miss them greatly. But this opportunity to come back home and to share it with my friends and family and to build it at a place that has impacted me and built so much into me, it's sort of like I'm getting a chance to pay it forward. And it's an opportunity I couldn't be more thrilled to have. And that's one thing you mentioned in your press conference was how important it was to come back to UCLA. Well, you know, this is, this is about um, continuing something that was invested in me. You know, I, I remember... Um, carpooling with Lorenzo Romar and Mark Gottfried to work and telling them that I would babysit their kids if they would let me carpool with them. And I remember watching practices and I remember talking to other coaches in this department. I remember um, the conversations I would have with Kathy Olivier, Willette White, Pam Walker at the time, you know, was uh, coaching at that point. And I think about all the people that poured into me. And of course, John Wooden, I, I, you know, I just, the opportunity to give back to the place that invested so much in me is, uh, is really a privilege. All right, Coach, congratulations, and uh, look forward to seeing you around the offices here at UCLA. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to be here. Of course, if you'd like to see the entire press conference and the announcement of UCLA's new women's basketball coach, as well as all the best coverage of UCLA women's basketball, you get it all right here at UCLABruins.com.